Hello and welcome to this episode of Go Play, that uh, Game Market Guru's new program for promoting gameplay as a positive educational format of entertainment. As you notice, I'm wearing a Western hat, and today's theme is of a Western nature. We're going to get a real bang out of the program today, as we're going to be talking about tabletop games as usual, but in this case we're going to be talking about the expansion of limited player games to larger scale groups. Now, there are several ways to do this, and we're going to talk about three different ones. The first one today we're going to talk about is the expansion. Now, in the case of a game like Bang, it has a limited number of players for which it is designed between three and seven players in particular and the expansion of that seems to be limited because after all you can only have one sheriff in a town you usually only have one desperado out to get him and you might have several other uh, vigilantes or uh, gunslingers that are more than likely to jump into the fray in order to expand a group game beyond the limits of the product you have several examples and one of them the expansion takes the players and provides more room for them to participate. For example, in the case of Bang, the rules are already set up so that as you move from three to four to five and on in your players, the number of sheriffs remains the same, but you add additional deputies to protect the sheriff. This is a great uh, expansion opportunity if you want to maintain the same mechanical theme of the game. A second form of expansion that you may want to look at would be the concept of taking the roles of the game and expanding them. For example, perhaps the sheriff is actually working with marshals, and so therefore there are three or more players who act as the sheriff, and so each of them has to be eliminated rather than just the individual sheriff. This will expand the participation, and the theme of the game will be maintained, but you had to step outside of the rules to do so. The final version of play dynamics that can be used in expanding a game from a limited number of players to a larger number of players would be to actually divide the role into multiple pieces, if you will, and so therefore make the sheriff equal to judge, jury, and executioner and have three players representing that cast, that group. That in uh, a game like Bang might feel cumbersome, but it makes more sense in a game like Settlers of Catan or uh, Carcassonne where the person actually doing the building doesn't necessarily have to be an individual. It can be a committee making decisions on where the builds are made. In any of these cases, the purpose for doing so is to allow for a game to transmit its ambiance, its experience, its feel to more players than would normally be allowed, and this of course generates additional possible revenue for the store because the players will get a chance to feel what the game is like and then be uh, incited to purchase copies for themselves. Basically, the reason why you would want to do this is to increase the uh, ability for the players to experience the ambiance of the game. That will be the end of today's presentation, and I hope to see you again tomorrow where I will probably be wearing a different hat and certainly be talking about a different game.